Okay, uh, good morning everyone. I got a question or request um, to walk through um, connecting your website via Plesk, uh, I guess, uh, configuring your domain name to work with your host um, using the Plesk as a control panel. Um, and this is rather easy actually. Um, I assume that you have accessed your domain control panel and um, you've made changes to the DNS. So in this scenario, um, on the, the new Plesk 9.0, um, if you were to go on the website, just click on that, DNS settings. By the way, we're using a Vista theme. You clicked on DNS settings. This takes you to a page um, that tells you pretty much what this domain Terry says events.com is pointing to, or it's or what Terry says events is is being called by. As you can see, the IP address associated with Terry says events is that. Um, the DNS for Teresa is that, and that. Uh, mail exchange for Teresa is that. This is the. What's CNAME again? Um, it's the canonical. CNAME means canonical name for Teresa's events, which is the FTP defined for that, the webmail defined canonical name for that, and the main website canonical name with a prefix www. And the canonical name for that is also going to lead you to that. As you can as you can tell, the values here are either terrasesevents.com or IP address because all these values are meant to feed feed traffic to this website to terrasesevents.com so assuming you haven't done this assuming you know what name servers your Plesk control panel is linked to or generates what you want to do is add a record and within this environment you can actually choose you know name server conical name mail exchange whatever you want to add um, in this scenario connecting your host account to your domain name you want to add a name server and on the name server you want to define what you're adding so assuming we were going to add but since we already have NS3 and NS4, so let's try NS5. So, I added a new name server. Plesk 9.0, unlike 8.6, verifies or asks you to confirm everything you do. So, let's go ahead and update. And now, we have a third name server. We have our primary and our secondary, but I just added this as an example for you to see how easy it is to add a new name server. And as long as this resolves, as long as this name, this uh, name server resolves to that IP address, and your domain name resolves to either this or this, your website and your host account will definitely be linked together. So let's delete this since this was an example. Selected that. Click on remove. Confirm removal. And just like that. Update. Sorry. And just like that, it's gone. So now I only have my primary and my secondary name servers defined. And by doing so, Teresa's events is connected to the web. Let's kill the sound on that and your website shows up based on the index page. I hope this explains um, using your DNS which is located under the website uh, sub tab. Thank you again for your eyes and ears and have a wonderful day.